So I'm going to play a video for you that brought up this question. Would you let your daughter paint your fingernails as a man just because that was her thing? Anyone remember this video? So everyone is going to act like they didn't see this guy wearing nail polish. Shaking my head. Come on, black man. Shaking my head. White emoji. I have a six-year-old daughter who I cherish and love to death. She's at an age where she wants to paint people's nails. Am I too black as a black man to tell my six-year-old daughter, no, nah, I don't do that. No. I mean, she's probably at an age where she wants to eat Skittles at every meal, too. Would you, would you tell her yes to that? I don't feel like it's okay to tell her no. Like, no, daddy don't do that. We're not doing that. I'll, go paint your mama nails or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Or you could stop acting like children aren't intelligent and you could simply explain to your daughter that grown men do not wear nail polish. That way, at an early age, she can learn the concept of no. And not everything that she requests or asks for is she going to be granted. And that's a solid lesson in life that needs to be explained to a child. That's just a part of growing up. Like, it was, I mean, because what's next? She going to have you in a full dress because it's princess time, right? Because y'all want to sit down and have tea and she wants to have tea and you had, daddy, you have to wear this dress. No, no, daddy doesn't. Baby. Go, go put the dress back. You put on your dress. Daddy's going to wear his clothes, his regular man clothes, and we're going to have a tea time. And then she'll understand, oh, okay, this is what men do. And this is what a lady does. But see, in this woke period that we're going through, to say that to a child is considered to be toxic masculinity. And that just irritates my soul. Like for you, for me to tell a child, no, baby, I, I don't, men don't do that. They want to tell me that I'm weird for that. You understand what I'm saying? Like you should just be like, oh, uh, yeah. Of course, I'll, I'll wear the dress. I'll do this. I'll do that. Like, no, listen, I'm having a conversation with somebody and I'm like, it bugs me. Like every, th every time you turn around, they, it's even in the cartoons, they're suggesting, oh, they got men in dresses and drag queen type stuff. You know, it's three years old watching the kid, watching the TV. And it's like, why, what are we doing? Like, you know, and she was like, oh, you're, you're projecting. I'm like, why are we over sexualizing the kids? And by the way, she fully ignored the children's book that, that I brought up that illustrates same sex sex act of two adults in the bed getting this big, getting, like, you know what I'm saying? Just breeze that one past. But anyway, like even with that, she still said, you're projecting sexuality on that. That's nothing wrong with it. Like, stop with the corny, you know what I'm saying? Therapist talk, like, come on now. Cut it out. Cut it out. Like, it's it's not like... <laughs> I understand that's out here in the world. Do what y'all do. But to say that I can't tell my child and raise my child to know, hey, this is what boys do. This is what girls do. I, like, I don't, I don't find anything wrong with that. But everybody wants to be so woke and so this and so that. Like, it was a mother who made all these claims saying that her child wants to be a girl or this, that, and other, right? But the whole time it was the mother suggesting these things to the child. The, the father, like, man, when he when he comes over here, he wants to play with Tonka trucks and this, that, and other, and he's doing boy stuff. He goes over there. All of a sudden, his mother keeps talking about, oh, he wants to wear dresses and this, that, and other. But the whole time, the mother kept suggesting that he wear a dress. <clears throat> oh, let me... <laughs> what do you want to wear today? You want to wear the pink dress or the purple dress? Oh, so we just not going to give him a choice to wear boy clothes? And the child is like, well, I guess the purple dress. You understand what I'm saying? And then she takes that and comes back to the show. I think it was Dr. Phil. Like, and then they were attacking the dude. They were attacking the dude, trying to make the dude feel like he was some type of toxic, masculine, uh, misogynist or whatever. Like, listen, come on, man. Come on, man, with this, all this woke stuff. Like, listen, if you want to raise your child how you want to raise your child, do what you do. My man, if you want to paint your nails, 
and wear princes hats and all that princess hats and all of that stuff. Go right ahead, man. Do what you want to do. But as far as other people who choose to do otherwise, and say no, baby, men don't paint their fingernails, and say no, baby. I know you want to eat Skittles all day, but that's that's not a healthy diet. That's not what we're going to do. And say no, baby. I know you see Cardi B twerking on a song, but but young ladies don't act like that. You don't you don't twerk and and shake your butt in daddy's house. You understand? Or nowhere else. And say no, baby. You're a child. You don't you don't talk to grown-ups like that. You don't talk to daddy like that. You don't talk to mama like that. You don't talk to your auntie or your elders like that. And see, this is not just something that I'm talking about pertaining to masculinity or femininity. It's it's something just pertaining to life and how life operates and and how you want to raise your child up. And some people would consider it the wrong way or, or the right way. Listen, whatever you consider in your house, that's fine, man. Do what you want to do. People are going to raise their kids differently. I understand that. But as far as me and mine, I don't feel there's anything wrong with being able to tell your daughter, no, daddy doesn't paint your nail. You know what I'm saying? To be able to set certain rules in my house. That's going to be adhered to. And that's what I think children need. Instead of letting children just go off on these tangents and, and, and you you giving a child, a child will do anything you let it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? They will wake up and want to wear full fireman gear just for no reason. And you have to explain to your son, look, son. We are going to church. There will be no fireman gear at the church. You understand? I want a big fireman. Okay, I understand that. But we're going to continue that when we get back home. You understand what I'm saying? It's no, it's no problem setting rules and parameters or explaining to a child, hey, this is acceptable, this isn't. And for those of us who choose to say to our children, to our daughters, no, dad is not going to be wearing nails, uh, getting his nails painted. No, dad is not going to be wearing a princess uh, crown. No, dad is not going to be wearing a dress just to play with you for princess time or whatever. I think that's perfectly fine to say. And to make it seem like people are just being, being uh, over the top. <laughs> I think it's over the top for this guy. Like he want to make it look like, oh, oh. for y'all to suggest that I was, I let my daughter paint my nails because she's wonderful. And okay, she can be wonderful and not paint her nails at the same time. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Two things can be true, you know. I mean, it's like you, you, if you got a dog, your dog probably gets into a state where he loves to hump your leg. Are you just going to let him do it? Well, I'm just going to let him get it out of the system. Here, here. It'd be done in about two minutes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, get off my leg, <laughs> Fido. <laughs> but, yo, it's just me and my thoughts, man. Tell me what you think, what you don't think. Put something in the comments for your boy.